and officially this is the beautiful the most beautiful rest area that i ever seen in my life and why is so because of course we are lucky we have snow <laughs> explain the feeling that you got when you see this beautiful nature, right? Yes, Colorado it's amazing. So we stop at the rest area here in Colorado. We are keep driving to Aspen. I'm not sure which rest area it's it is or how is it called, but I'm pretty sure if you'll drive from Vale towards to Aspen, you'll find it. And officially, this is the beautiful, the most beautiful rest area that I ever seen in my life. And why is so? Because of course we are lucky. We have snow. And look at this. The river next to rest area, watch. So beautiful. Oh my god. We are between the mountains and the rest area is right here because there is nowhere where to stop. It's time to go. And we fly the drone and we take some cool content for you guys and now then we're assembling the camera on top of the car. How you gonna make time lapse? Tate's buckled up with tears and cries. Let's She's go. busy. <laughs> Peekaboo! Okay. 
one more hour drive to Aspen, right, my love? Exactly, one hour, one minute. I'm so excited. It was one of our dreams to see Colorado and Aspen, and here we are, we are one hour apart. Aspen Nature Life. Hi guys. Guys, I discovered one thing. It's super interesting for me. I've been in many states, like many places in the United States uh, I think so how you get treated going by state where you live because I figured out very lately that it's a paid parking where we park like one and a half hour ago and uh, I must get a ticket maybe less than five minutes if I park somewhere in Los Angeles or Washington DC or New York like but in here I figured out I didn't get tickets I go to pay I get the receipt usually what you're going to do you get the receipt and you put it in front of your, your like front window which is dashboard so uh, park meter parking enforcement uh, can see that you paid I see that many cars over there, maybe more than 20. None of them put any ticket out there. That means in Colorado it goes by trust, which is very appreciated. Truffle fries, I cannot catch. She ate tuna sandwich with the like big piece of tuna inside. Really delicious, but the most interesting part about this burger place is that we find accident by, by the chance. Not by the chance. While we was looking for a restroom, we found here because she was rushing us, as always, through that street. We parked in front of Prado or something, right? Like some. Thanks God, we found parking. Yeah, and then we park and we start running around like, what's going on? What's going on? And then we find this place. Uh, it's called. It's like a little bit inside, like CP Burger, CP something like that right in the middle of Aspen and then there's a ice skating in here which is right now opening and then the ski course is right up there like everywhere so right now they're fighting with each other She's walking. Yes. This is Thea's land. She is not staying where she needs to be. She wants to go everywhere. Cafe. We'll take a coffee to get warm. And there is a fireplace here. We are getting warm with hair, right, baby? No. She's still not sleeping. She doesn't want to sleep. Look at this big girl. We stopped by a gas station on the way back to Keystone, and we are very close to still to Aspen and i wash my hands and i buy some snacks for us and coffee and look what i found there's all of this local journals i pick already one this is aspen times this is real estate today 
um, their local journal and I'm just looking what else we can um, read on the on the way I will take one of these the Aspen Times you just pull open I'm doing it with one hand I'll take one journal one newspaper so cool okay so we will have interesting to do on the way here mama for you to read <laughs> you want it real estate in aspen here you go there is a whole journal for you <laughs> let's make it <laughs> bye bye hotel lobby we are checking out already look at this are you ready to go home here it's beautiful this this is lake it's frozen is like speechless it's amazing it's wonderland it's winter wonderland and we were so lucky they said that they we um they didn't have this type of storm for 50 years or uh, 15 years 15 years they didn't have them much strong storm and we was here and the first time when we arrived i was complaining that there's no there snow. is no snow there is no snow and the second day it started to storm like crazy so, can you imagine the day's birthday while we were going from here? We cannot see anything, it was yes. going from navigation. Time to go back home. Today is 8th of January. We are filling up the car. That's a few that we rented out from Hertz, and it's filled up. It was only quarter tank left because of the gas is not too expensive out here. A little I'm going inside for my shopping, just lock the doors. I don't know the area, so it's better to be prepared. want all the time to extend it more and more but this time really I'm I'm a little bit sad but in the meantime I want to go home and I really miss our house and I miss my office and house too <laughs> so see you till the next trip and I wish that you guys will enjoy our recordings with a small baby and video we're trying our best for you thank you We missed the plane with one minute. One minute. The gate was open. We just ran inside. He says I pulled it too much. He pulled the gate out. So they gave us a ticket. Where's very rude guy? 
says, this is all I can do. From Denver to Phoenix, working Phoenix, and then from there to Los Angeles. And then Denver to Phoenix, Phoenix to Los Angeles. And then I call the supervisors and I tell the issue what's going on. And then thanks God he's a nice guy. He gave us a 340 directly from Denver to Los Angeles with another airlines. So right now the situation is this. We have uh, two hours, 20 more minutes. It's, it's good, so we're trying to enjoy our moments. And all the foods. 